Another just note uh, on Excel uh, in general is, and I'll kind of go back into, let's catch up where we are right now in the presentation. Uh, novice or new Excel users often depend on the mouse to perform the majority of tasks, either the mouse or the touch bar uh, or touchpad. And I really encourage you to learn the keyboard shortcuts because they will greatly improve the efficiency and the quality of your output. They will just help you to navigate faster in Excel uh, and it will allow you to just do analysis more efficiently. So today I'll highlight where there are shortcuts to use and I will give you uh, kind of a warning. Learning these shortcuts uh, will be frustrating at first, but I promise that it is worth taking the time to learn it. And the best way to learn these shortcuts is really to just repeat that command until it's committed to your memory and becomes muscle memory. Um, and it takes anywhere from, you know, rule of thumb is like five to 10 different times for your brain to remember that particular shortcut. So the more shortcuts you know, the more efficient you'll be in Excel. And this really does take time to build up. Uh, but I, again, I highly recommend uh, getting used to using shortcuts as much as possible. Lastly is a note on Excel on a Mac versus a Windows. So a lot of what you'll hear is that uh, power users of Excel or people who kind of find themselves living in Excel day in and day out are often based on a PC. And I just want you to understand why. It's because there's a significant wide uh, and broader range of keyboard shortcuts that are available to a PC user in Excel than a Mac user. And unfortunately, those keyboard shortcuts that PC users get to enjoy just are not replicated to the same extent on a Mac. And so uh, while the functionality of Excel on a Mac is exactly the same, uh, you just have to be aware that there are fewer shortcuts than your peers or friends might be using uh, in Excel on a PC. I would note if you're going to be living in Excel or working professionally in Excel and you're feeling like you're going to get used to the shortcuts and it's worthwhile to know the shortcuts, I do recommend getting a Windows machine or running either Parallels or Bootcamp, uh, which we won't cover in this course, but if you Google running Bootcamp on your Mac, you'll be able to actually learn how to run Excel in the PC version on your Mac machine.